Welcome everybody to a GMBN Tech special. We are scouring the pits here at Novio Meso Namoravi at the first round of the UCI Mountain Bike World Series Cross Country. Kicking off very soon, I'll be scouring the pits looking for all those special bits and bobs that you guys want to see. It's early days and the pits are starting to just wake up. However, I do think there is going to be some great things that we can find this morning. So let's uh, dive on in. Kicking things off then with tools. I'm at the Canyon Collective team pits and the mechanics have got some fancy toolboxes. And I just spoke to the guys, they actually flew with these. So I dread to think what the excess baggage would have been like on those. But check it out, we've got some cool custom uh, hammers in there, world champs, colors in there. Everything sort of laser cut and fits perfectly. There's everything you could possibly need. Further down, look at the size of this monster. Absolutely everything you can need in there. And I was actually just chatting to him. It's not even finished yet. So God knows what the old uh, toolbox porn is going to look like by the time that one is done. Very nice, very trick. And I reckon that's just the tip of the iceberg. Right, I'm at the Sun Tour tent, joined by Pierre Plante, the R&D head, if you like, of electronic suspension here. Now, Pierre, we've obviously got a very special bike in front of us with this fully electronic suspension of yours. Please tell us a little bit more about it. Yeah, so uh, it's um, our uh, development we have done at the R&D uh, Electronic of SR Centaur. Uh, it's a uh, suspension, so in the principle there is um, three positions, so uh, fully lock and uh, let's say a platform and an open position. And then we have electronic actuator, which uh, manage by themselves to, to change this position. And we have sensors. Uh, on the suspension uh, and they detect what the, what the rider is doing, what the, the, like the track it is, is uh, how it is uh, and very fast adjust the damping of the suspension from one of these three positions to, to choose the best uh, out of these three. And, and it's got sort of various accelerometers and sensors that know all this and the rider doesn't have to adjust anything on the handlebars, it does it with its own brains in there, right? Exactly, so yeah, we have a um, kind of controller, microcontroller inside with sensors and they, they gather the different signal of different sensors, do a post-treatment of all of this. Uh, quite a lot, it's every millisecond, it adjusts uh, uh, everything. And um, yeah, based on that, uh, adjust the suspension, ask uh, the, actu the actuator to, to adjust the position. Amazing. Well, look, I look forward to seeing it out on track. Thank you very much, Pierre. Yeah, we are We're all looking forward. <laughs> <laughs> now, interestingly, that system there is actually going to be available by about the end of June, and it's been in development on and off since 2015. Are we going to see more electronic suspension systems creeping in across other brands? There are obviously a couple out there already at the moment. Time will tell. Right, check out this, people. Team BMC's Titon Karod. Very trick BMC looking bike. Now I'm joined by his mechanic, Max, because this has got a real special dropper on it in which it actually raises and drops all at the press of a button. Max, tell us a little bit more about it, please. Yes, yeah, so uh, so yeah, that's the bike of T2N. Uh, on the four, it's the four stroke O1. Uh, and yeah, on, uh, on that bike, you've got uh, the auto drop. So that's the new things uh, from uh, this year. Um, We've just launched it uh, last year, actually, at the end of last year. And so the the main things about this, it automatically goes down by itself, up and down. So you don't have to do the squat to to put the saddle down. So it obviously it raises and drops at the press of a button. But how does the system actually work? Because it's obviously you know very clean around the collar. There's nothing sort of there to make it look like a dropper almost. So how how does the actual system work? So yeah, basically it's. Um, Everything's mechanical, uh, okay. nothing's uh, automatic or with battery. So it works with, um, with uh, a tube inside the, the frame on the down tube. So here you've got a kind of a, a tube where you get all the air pressure in it. And then it works with a system, um, something that changed the air uh, to push the saddle, to, to press the saddle down. And then after to push the saddle up, it's a, it's a spring that will bring it up. So it's almost like a, a vacuum that brings it down, is it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, if uh, oh. to to make it simple, it's it's something like that that will bring the the saddle down. 
um, and then you recharge it with a, with a normal pump. Uh, oh. You can charge it to 14 bars and uh, and yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot of pressure. <laughs> well, that is an insane amount of pressure and that's just uh, this sort of air valve that I can see tucked down yeah. at the side of the frame there. Incredible. And so sort of what's the what's the drop, the travel if you like? So a lot of things are 75, 100 mil. How, how much drop does this have? So this one is uh, 80, 80 mil drop. Okay. So it's, uh, it's really on off. There's only two, um, yeah. It, it's, it's either up or down sort yeah, of thing. Exactly. And uh, and it also have like a, it has, you can use it 100 times and then after you have to reuse it okay. and repump it. Okay. Um, if you get out of air, uh, it still works as a normal seat post. So it will go up by itself, but you will have to do the squat to put it down. But uh, yeah, 100 cycle up and down, it's, uh, it's usually enough for a marathon. So yeah. And is there different travel options or is it just the 80 mil? No, that's the only one, yeah. Okay. Now, obviously in the world of cross country, weight does matter. So a system like this, is it, I mean, it's not as light obviously as it just a, a stock seat post, a solid seat post, but droppers are still pretty heavy. How, what, what, what's the sort of comparison on this one? Yeah, for this one, it's uh, it's around 400 uh, grams. So uh, okay. that's something that uh, brings the bike even lighter. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's a good plus for the bike and for the riders. Yeah, definitely. Actually, I think for a dropper system, especially one where actually it saves your legs as well, where the rider doesn't have to squat, stand back up each time. 400 grams is incredibly light. Right, check it out, people. We're in the Team Jumbo Visma pits of Milan Varda. Who is back racing this weekend on this, the brand new Cervelo ZFS5. Now, what is a little bit odd here, you might well notice that there's no rear shock. Yes, this is a full suspension bike with no suspension on the rear. They've actually put this cnc aluminium piece in here instead of the linkage and the shock. Now, what this has done is essentially just made it a hard head. It's completely locked it out. The team extensively looked into the rules, whether they were actually allowed to do this, and they can. So as long as the rear triangle and the front triangle remain the same across cross-country short track and cross-country Olympic disciplines, then the shock can be taken away. It's pretty cool. I mean, marginal gains, right? And whatever it takes to win. Really liking that. More toolbox wars now, people. Now, I'm in the BH Coloma team and Javier, one of the mechanics here, has kindly let me check out his toolbox. 23 kilos this is that he flies with. Check it out. It's got absolutely everything in it in different levels. We won't delve in too deep, but you can have a little look under there. There's oils and hammers and God knows what else. Unbelievable. Now, this is all laser cut out again by a company called Plaza. This is Javier's bike shop at the top there, X-Bikes. Very nicely done. I mean, there's not a tool in there that I don't think would be used for a World Cup mechanic. There is literally everything. We've got all the big Allen keys. We've got smaller ones in the bottom. Every kind of wrench, you know, torque bit, screwdrivers, absolutely everything going on there. That is a fancy toolbox. You wander through an XC Pits and you think, crikey, there's a lot of Lycra and very little travel, but don't worry. For those that aren't, uh, of the short travel variety. Thank goodness, a 34 and a 36 at the Fox 10 there. You won't see a 36 knocking around on many bikes, so that's quite interesting to see. But uh, the 34, well, that's actually pretty commonplace now. Right, onwards. Right, here's a cool bit of tech. One I don't know too much about until now, actually, it's Chaoyang Tires. Now, one of the world's largest tire manufacturers. These guys, based out of China, actually sponsor some huge teams. So we are at the Superior team. They also sponsor the Obeya team and the BH Coloma team as well. So some reputable teams going on there. So their range of tires goes from all sorts of different widths, from 2.0 in their full mud tire, which is obviously very narrow, allows for a lot of clearance and the tread is very spaced out as well, up to a 2.3 in their XC dry and their XC speed tires as well. Yes, cheers guys. Right, I'm joined by TJ, mountain bike race manager for Olins, and we've spotted some XC suspension from them, which only Team BMC are running it. TJ, thanks for joining me, mate. Thanks, mate. Tell us a little bit about well, what we've got going on here, really. I can't say really too much, though, <laughs> but I will. I will uh, as we see here, we have a completely new line of suspension from our end. We got a 34 millimeter front fork, I don't know what this can be, maybe 110, maybe 120, I don't really know. <laughs> so, <laughs> He's keeping it vague for us, come on. Um, three position, uh, yeah. lockout, uh, yeah, drop, uh, not, yeah. Like position. Position. Uh, new air spring technology. The crown <laughs> looks a little bit different compared to others. 
So okay. maybe you can guess what kind of material that is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So from the king of Vega, <laughs> when, when is this available, mate? Uh, it's going to be available to the public. I think it's 8th of June. Okay. Well, uh, we'll have to wait till the 8th of June to find out all the juicy details. Oh, mm -hmm. But until then, TJ, thank you very much for joining me, Thanks, mate. mate. Hey, we didn't talk about the rear end. Oh, well, let's, should we mosey back that way, mate? Yeah. yeah cool. Okay. What, what have we got going on at the back? Yeah. Yeah. That's the... It's actually also a new platform, completely new, for, designed okay. for cross country. New technology that n never been seen in the cross country scene before. And can you tell me anything about that? Uh, it's a <laughs> it's a 190 by 45. I can tell you okay. that. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Also available on 8th of June. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. All right. So it looks like 8th of June is the date to watch out for at Olin's. For Cheers, sure. mate. Cheers. <laughs> Thanks. Interesting stuff then going on at Team BMC, especially with that Olin suspension. Now, I did have a little closer look. He didn't want to give much away, did he, TJ? But there was definitely compression adjustment, rebound adjustment, of course. And there was a free position lockout lever as well that did both the forks and the rear shock at the same time. So I'm assuming it's going to be a fully locked out trail, you know, midway point and a fully open. Watch out. Like I said, June 8th. I'd be interested to see what they got going on there. Some more hottest tech here at Novia Mesto Namoravi. JCB driving. Our new presenter Isaac's just had a go. Look at the smile on his face. You can't not love a digger. I flipping love diggers. This is the best, Leo. This has got to be one of the coolest paint jobs in the pit. I'm at Trinity Racing's specialized S Works Epic of Camilo Gomez. Check it out. I am loving this like pink, blue, black brushed finish. We got the new XX group set on there. Very fancy drop stem, little stubby saddle. Look at that little stubby saddle up there. Sid Ultimates on there. Very nice looking bike. Real cool paint job. Trinity got it down. Check it out, everyone. This has got to be some of the hottest tech here at Novemesto Namaravi. Tom Pidcock's Pinarello Dogma, brand new full sus XC bike. It's an absolute race weapon and he's already taken it to a first place here. So keep your eyes peeled for a full bike check coming up on GMBN Tech very, very soon. I mean, holy moly, look at it. I mean, I don't know the exact height of Tom, but he is he's a fairly small guy because this, well, this for me has got a pretty short reach on it, but I am six foot and I know he's definitely not. Pretty cool. I think that might be the only, only first and last time I'm on an Olympian's gold medal winning bike there. Well, it didn't win a gold medal, but you know what I mean. That's a wrap here in Novia Meso Namoravi. Look, I hope you've enjoyed checking out all the top tech as much as I have. If you want to see more top tech from World Cups in the future, do let us know in the comments down below. But from me, thanks for watching GMBN Tech, everybody, and I will catch you later.